So uh, we want to challenge the audience. And the, the question is, how can a bunch of geeks in a black box impact a billion people? So perhaps we should start off with the question of whether there has ever been an open source telecommunications project that has touched the lives of a billion people. And to answer this, we have to go back to Arthur Clarke, who 25 years ago was also the founding chancellor of the International Space University. And Arthur Clarke, he's one of the big uh, three science fiction writers. Uh, there's also Isaac Asimov, and there's also Robert Heinlein. He's also uh, seen as the master of, uh, of big ideas. In 1945, Clarke published his visionary and transformational article on geosynchronous satellites, where he argued that satellites parked in orbit above the Earth could solve many of the communications problems here on Earth. Later, Clarke published his article, how I lost a billion dollars in my spare time. And he admitted that he had never patented the idea of satellite communications. So I'd like to propose that uh, geosynchronous satellite communications is probably one of the largest uh, open source communications projects in all of human history. Arthur Clarke also had a vision for fully interconnected content devices as early as 1968, where he imagined the use of computer tablets that we would now recognize today as iPads. Most importantly, he inspired us, he dared us, to imagine a globally interconnected planet. We take this vision for granted today, almost like breathing air and drinking water, but a truly interconnected planet was a remarkable vision four decades ago. Imagine that a single mobile phone in a village can provide critical weather reports to fishermen, instantaneous information about market pricing for farmers, medical diagnostic information for children, and even educational content. Geeks Without Frontiers is focused on the mission of bringing internet connectivity to a billion people through technology and social enterprise. In order to achieve this goal, Geeks has in fact developed an entire ecosystem of missions which together can have the dramatic impact touching the lives of a billion people. In October 2010, Google's Tides Foundation provided support to the Mana Energy Foundation and Geeks Without Frontiers to develop an open source mesh Wi-Fi standard O11S. The software project that we worked on, we worked on it for nearly a year. We finished the project and that was ratified by IEEE last year. Now that the Geeks Without Frontiers project has developed the new software standard, the next challenge is how do you scale open source Wi-Fi? It is critical that the solution for the next billion should be both scalable, sustainable, and driven through social enterprise at the local level. The goal is for a villager who is interested in providing Wi-Fi to have the ability to buy an open source hardware kit through the internet, to use the open source software, and to have the software enterprise tools to be able to recover the entrepreneur's original investment. This is what we view as the next challenge in making this vision a reality. Establish a hardware pilot program, prove the social enterprise model, which is essentially the internet cafe model, and then we have to provide the tools to the villages and the cities that are going to be using the Wi-Fi. That can be something like a network uh, management uh, control center or some of the tools that people can use to, uh, to scale this. Here is an image taken of our Geeks Without Frontiers prototype black box solution. What will be your black box high impact solution? Renewable energy? The next vaccine? A satellite app? A mobile app? or simply the power of a truly transformational idea. Here is a short introduction to the power of the Geeks Without Frontiers open source Wi-Fi project. In a perfect world, each person would have non-stop access to fast internet. Wiring entire cities or remote villages, however, is very expensive and time consuming. The goal of Geeks Without Frontiers is to bring together social enterprise and technology in order to have a positive impact on a billion people in 10 years. To do that, we embarked on developing a low-cost, open-source Wi-Fi mesh software technology that would super efficiently use existing hardware to minimize cost and maximize availability. Open-source mesh Wi-Fi software is a major step in achieving the vision of affordable broadband for all. It is capable of bringing tremendous economic and social benefits to millions of people. The Metro Wi-Fi mesh is made up of nodes and antennas, which use radio frequency to talk to each other and pass data along to extend connectivity and the internet to a wide area. In a citywide mesh network, there may be as few as one or two points which have a wired connection. 
and the other radios in the network send traffic to those exit points. If one tower goes down from traffic congestion, network interruption, loss of electricity, or natural disaster, the software self-assesses how to reroute traffic to keep the network at full availability. This is a major step in achieving the vision of affordable broadband and bringing tremendous economic and social benefits to millions of people around the globe. So I just want to uh, end with a quick quote. Uh, and, and I'm just saying that Geeks Without Frontiers, we embrace the uh, powerful wisdom from the, uh, the master of great ideas, Sir Arthur Clarke. And he said, the only way to discover the limits of the possible is to go beyond them into the impossible. Thank you very much. Thank you.